Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be reviewing Nope. And Nope is directed by Jordan Peele, written by Jordan Peele, produced by Jordan Peele and Ant Cooper, cinematography from Hoyt Van Hoyt Timmer, uh, edited by Nicholas M. Sir, uh, music by Michael Abels, production companies from Universal Pictures and Monkey Paw Productions, distributed by Universal Pictures, released 18th of July 2022 for the premiere. 22nd of July 2022 in USA, and 11th of August 2022 in New Zealand. Uh, runtime is an hour and an hour and 30 minutes, sorry, 130 minutes, so 2 hours and 10 minutes. The budget for this movie in New Zealand is $105 million NZD, in the US it's $65 million USD. And the box office worldwide is $113.8 million dollars internationally worldwide. Uh, rating in New Zealand is an R13 and the US it's rated R. The genre of this movie is a horror, thriller, science fiction and a mystery plot. Uh, it's a very short plot because, you know, Jordan Peele likes to make very, what do you call it? He likes to make these films very, you know, on what's going to be this, what's this movie going to be about, like, yeah. Anyway, Residents in the lonely in the lonely gulch of inland California via uh, witnesses to an uncanny chilling discovery. Ooh. So it's starring Daniel Kaluuya as Otis Jr. or O. J. Haywood, Kiki Palmer as Emerald M. Haywood, Stephen Yun as Ricky Jupe Park, a Brandon Pereira as Angel Torres, Michael Wincock as Angela's Holst, Warren Smith as Amber Park, and Barbara Fin. Uh, Ferreira, sorry, is Nessie. Development. Uh, on October 1st, 2019, Universal Pictures announced a five-year exclusive production partnership with Peel's Monkey Paw Productions. And Nub, then an untitled project was announced on November 9th, 2020, with Peel set to write, direct, and produce. He said, I wrote it in time when we were a little bit worried about the future of the cinema. So the first thing I knew is that I wanted to create a skeptical... I will just create something that the audiences would have to come to see. Speaking to GQ, Peel stated, So much of what this world was experiencing with the overload of spectacle and the low point of our uh, addiction to spectacle, uh, Peel added that he wrote the film Trapped Inside, and so I knew I wanted to make something about uh, something that was about the sky. I knew the world uh, would want to be outside at the same time. I knew uh, we had this newfound fear from the trauma from the time of what is meant to go outside. Can we go outside? So I slipped uh, some of that stuff in. Peel publicly cited King Kong and Jurassic Park, movies about humanity, addiction to spectacle, uh, and oh god, along with Close Encounters of the Third Kind, Signs in the Wizard of Oz, and as influences in his writing, but later identifying the angles of Neon Genesis and influences in his writing, but later identifying the angles of Neon Genesis, uh, Evalagon, and the principal inspi inspiration from the film's premise and monster, and the film's production uh, notes. Impressed by the hyper-minimalism and biochemical design flair of squirrels, yeah, squirrel, and the tenth angle, uh, he explained his decision to include a major focus of on clouds in this film. The beauty of the sky isn't thrilling. The first film in the way, uh, in the way, every now and then you'll see a cloud that sits alone and it's too low, and it gives me the vertigo and gives me the sense of uh, presence. With capital P. I can't describe it, but I knew I could bottle that and put it and put it into a horror movie. It might change the way people look at the sky. Peel originally wrote the character of Angel Torres as a happy go lucky geek like character until Brandon Pereira was cast as the character who wanted to expand upon and portray as more grounded. It also took several rewrites in order for Pereira to convince Peel and the Universal executives to change the character's fate in the film. Climax for being killed by Jean Jacket. The surviving 
the entire ordeal, saying, there's no way that the story is over in my head. There's no way for how heroic everything, everything kind of stem, I seemed at the end. I'm like, there's no way uh, they leave the heroes like this. This is just the start of something new. In February 2021, oh, it was probably like Kiki Palmer and Daniel Kaluuya uh, was added to the film, or joined the cast of the film, while Jesse Plemons turned down the role in favour of starring Killers in the Flower Moon. Instead, Peel wrote the script for Kaluuya in mind for the role of O.J. Haywood. In March, Stephen Yeun added to the cast of the film. So originally, I think it was supposed to be Daniel Kaluuya, Kiki Palmer, and Jesse Plemons, but he turned it down, so it was Kiki Palmer, Daniel Kaluuya, and uh, Stephen Yeun, which I'm happy with. Reception. On the review aggregator website, Rock Tomatoes, 82% of 345 critics reviews are positive, with an average rating of a 7.4 out of 10. The website's consensus, consensus rates admirable for the originality and ambition even when its reach exceeds its grasp. Nope, and Spielbergian skeptical to Jordan Peele's growing arsenal. Uh, arsenal. Metacritic produces a weighted average assigned the film a 77 out of 100 based on 58 critics indicating generally favorable reviews. Audience polled by CinemaScore gave the film an average rating of a B on an A plus to an F scale. The same score as us, while post track reported 79% of film goers gave it a positive score. Uh, A. O. Scott of the New York Times praised the film, impeccably managed to spend sharp jokes and building unnerving atmosphere of all ground weirdness, and noted that while this movie can fairly be described as a Spielbergian, it turns on it ethnophilic and explicit debunking of Spielberg's uh, most characteristic visual trope, the all stuck up with gaze. Yeah. Thoughts. Okay, this movie was awesome for me. I really enjoyed my time with this movie. I think the cast is phenomenal. And the directing uh, with this movie by Jordan Peele is just fantastic. Uh, I think the score with this movie should be Oscar-worthy. Uh, if you don't know what the score is, it's basically like the sound of you know, if you didn't know that, like the soundtrack, I'm not, I'm not really, what do you call it a soundtrack? It's like a, a sound, yeah, basic going sound. Anyway, uh, it's definitely Oscar worthy for me, and yeah, just an awesome movie that I think, yeah, was awesome. I think the standout for me was Brent Pereira as Angel Torres, uh, was just a delight and a great character to follow, and his humor works for me in this movie. The cinematography, the cinematography with this movie was just insane, and I loved it, and very close to being Oscar-worthy for me as well. And I just loved this movie, and it's one of my favourite movies of the year. Well, second place, because I was entertained. Well, second place, because Top Gun Maverick was still number one. Uh, because I, was just, I just got entertained through all this, all of the movie. Bad and disappointing. Okay, for me, this movie does not have anything bad about this movie that I can think of. I just had a blast all the way through, uh, but I will nip at the start of the movie. I think it was a bit slow, a bit of a slow start, but yeah, that was it for me. Uh, final thoughts. Okay, this movie was awesome for me. I loved my time with this movie. I can't wait to rewatch this movie. I just really enjoyed my time with this movie, and I highly recommend this movie if you haven't seen this movie. I think this movie's start is, was a wee bit too slow to start the movie off, but overall, Fun and a fun and awesome movie that I enjoyed so much. Now, score for this movie, I'm going to be giving it a 4.5 to 5 stars. Percentage, I'm going to be giving it a 94%. Grade, I'm going to be giving it an A-. And out of 10, I'm going to be giving it a 9.4 out of 10. Thanks for watching my review for Nope. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, if you have not seen this movie, definitely check it out. If you are not scared of horror, uh, is it scary? me I mean I can handle I can handle a bit of horror but I'm not you know fully hot I can handle it um but you know definitely check this movie out if you have not seen it yeah it's it was just a fun movie and if you if you don't like the trailers probably shouldn't watch the trailers because it kind of spoils the whole movie uh, but you know great movie 
an awesome review. If you haven't seen it, check it out. But anyway, uh, there'll be videos on the screen right there. Down below this podcast. Please listen to it. Like, share, comment. Turn on the post notification bell. Be a massive help. Thanks for watching. Take care. Peace.